This is Fox 25 Sports. Well, we are going to get right into it tonight, folks. The Big 12 softball championship game taking place in Oklahoma City earlier this afternoon was definitely one you didn't want to miss. Oklahoma State looking for some redemption after getting swept by Oklahoma last weekend, but OU striking first in this one. Tiari Jennings hitting a single through the left side to bring home a core for the one run lead. The Sooners get another run here in the bottom of the third. Cowgirl second baseman Carly Petty losing the high pop fly in the sun, not being able to snatch it out. Oklahoma State, though, got things going in the fourth inning. Bases loaded for Haley Busby and hits it down the line into left field to get the Pokes on the board. Miranda Elish tagging up on a sacrifice fly then to tie it up at two apiece then for the Cowgirls. Now Oklahoma State's finally got some life back in them. This one couldn't be decided in regulation, so we head to extra innings tied at 3-3 and four straight balls to Kylie Naomi and Nicole May Walkser. That gives the Cowgirls an extra run, and that's all that they needed. One last easy ground out, and Oklahoma State slays a giant. The ladies jumping for joy as the Big 12 softball title goes to the Cowgirls for the first time in school history. The Sooner men were also playing down in Norman today. Shortstop Peyton Graham had a nice day with a double and a home run, accounting for two RBIs, plus three more RBIs from Tanner Treadaway. But OU came up just short against West Virginia, losing it by a run 8-9. To, to Stillwater we go, where Oklahoma State was also in action against the ninth-ranked Red Raiders. Unfortunately, this one got to be a bit messy for the Pokes. They were fine through the first four innings, only giving up one run on a, on a double to center field right here. But then Dorshing crushing a long ball out over the fence in deep left center field in the fourth inning. There is that big shot out there. Now, Texas Tech lit them up in the fifth inning with seven earned runs, four of which coming off this massive grand slam out over the left field fence and out over the left fielder's head. Not a whole lot left in this one for OSU, losing it pretty handedly 9-3 with game three of the series to be played at O'Brate Stadium at 1 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. We also had some high school baseball state title games today. Owasso won in 6A, earning themselves their 14th state title. In the 5A bracket, Duncan run-ruled Piedmont to win their first title, and Blanchard walked off against Tuttle to earn themselves the Quad A title. Now, quick transition to some professional sports. The NBA has a couple of huge Game 7s tomorrow. Giannis and the Bucks are going to try and rebound after that Game 6 loss to the Celtics at 2.30 p.m. in Boston and then to the Western Conference, where the Mavs have put up quite a fight against the best regular season team in the Phoenix Suns. Tip-off for Dallas and Phoenix will be at 7 o'clock on TNT tomorrow night. And we've also got some huge Game 7s in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs as well. Boston and Carolina were first up this afternoon. Hurricanes working it into the offensive zone here with a real nice pass from the point to the front of the net and a quick tip in from Tubo Teravanen to put Carolina up 1-0 at the end of the first period. Second period we go, Bruins killing off a Canes power play, but a shot right here towards the front of the net gets deflected and Max Domi with some great hand-eye coordination there. He backhands it into the net. Carolina now up 2-0 and feeling very comfortable. Domi, he wasn't done though, having the game of his life. Halfway through the second, great centering pass and Domi snaps it past the goalie's glove to give him two goals and an assist on the night. Carolina holds off Boston to win the series and the game 3-2 to advance against the to face off against the winner of the Penguins and Rangers series in the second round. Now we're staying in the Eastern Conference. The Maple Leafs hosting the defending champion Tampa Bay Lightning in Toronto tonight. Tampa earning themselves a nice lead late in the first. Nearing the end of the second period then, the Leafs with a great passes of, passage of play. One pass and then another from Austin Matthews set up Morgan Riley perfectly to snap it home for the goal. The Lightning respond immediately though. And check this out from Nick Paul right here. Scooping up the loose puck and from skate to stick, 
He zips it past the keeper to put Tampa back up and into the lead. Quite the play there. And that was pretty much all she wrote. Tampa were able to hold off the Leafs for the 2-1 victory to advance to play the Florida Panthers in the second round. So, Carolina and Tampa Bay both earning themselves Game 7 victories today with the final Game 7 of the day between the Los Angeles Kings and the Edmonton Oilers. That's being played right now. And for you NASCAR fans, we didn't forget about you. After Joey Logano won at Darlington last weekend, the Cup Series now shifts west for the Advent Health 400 at Kansas Speedway tomorrow afternoon. You can catch the race at 2 o'clock on FS1.